What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing in this video is something that I've been wanting to do for the past couple of weeks that I haven't got to because I wanted to make sure that I do everything right when it comes to these strategy cards. What I've been doing is, I told you guys before, I, I got the strategy cards that I've been actually going out and wanting to get. However, after the fact, any new strategy cards that I got, I'm going to experiment with and see what's good and what's not. So I actually got like different strategy cards that I've been experiencing with. And I'm going to show you guys right now that man, some of the, these new strategy cards are insane. They give you insane chemistries, right? Once, once again, I'm not going out there spinning no coins and, and going crazy over these strategy cards. As I complete my daily objectives, I get the cards that I get. Sometimes I pull an uncommon card. Sometimes I pull a common card, you know, sometimes I pull a rare. The thing is, I use those cards, I put them in sets, and I get the cards that I need eventually. That's how I do it. I'm patient with it, but it pays off, though, because in the end, man, I got all these cards for free. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to break down all these new strategy cards that I got, how it made some of my players, they boosted them up three overalls. Some of my players are 99 overalls. So, um, you guys probably seen it in other videos. I didn't even mention it. You guys are probably just looking and paying attention, but because I want to wait and save, save the video, save it for this video so I can break it all down and let you guys know. Look at this guy right here, Colin Johnson. I guess I was able to pick him up because I watched all the MCS championship. A lot of people were mad because they figured he was going to get a power up and you can actually utilize it and put, you know, the training instead of the power up, which I, which I would, which I feel that they should have because if you want to either you watch it and get the car for free or you put the training into the slot and able to get them fully powered up. I'm a cool, I'm cool with either one of them, but EA didn't do that. I don't know if they fixed it yet, but from what I know, they didn't do that. But anyways, with that being said, he's up to a 99 speed. I mean, sorry, he's up to a 99 overall. How is he up to a 99 overall in my squad? He doesn't even get Cowboy Kim. And some of my Cowboy players, besides Jimmy Smith, is the only 99 receiver on my uh, on my squad because he's a 99 goal. But this guy's not even a Cowboy. How was he able to get to a 99 overall? He's a 97. He went up two overalls, which is very hard right now. But because of certain strategy cards, man, it, that actually helped him out. Um, This card is actually pretty good. It's just to let you guys know. Um, I haven't even used him like that, but he's actually pretty good. He only goes up to 97 speed, but his other attributes that I got that went up is what made him is what made him so um, boosted him up to a 99. His catching is 99 catching. Yeah, 99 catching, 96 catching traffic, 98 spectacular. So a lot. Some of his stats went up to 99, which helped him boost him up to a 99 overall, which actually made it make it good. Look at 98 deep route run, 82 break tackle. So. This car was able to get to a 99 overall. I'm showing you the cars that, that I was able to do first because now I'm going to go to, um, after this, I'm going to go show you the strategy cars that I use and take some out. And I'm going to show you guys the different ways that I went about it so you guys can see for yourself. So he's the one that got boosted up and Blake Jarwin's another one that got boosted up. Some of you guys, he had, he's a 98 on your squad still and you didn't have a boost. You can't get him boosted up to a 99. So I'm going to show you that in a minute too. Now let's go over here to the defense. Look at my defense. Malcolm Smith, he's only a, a 95 overall. He went up to a 97. Anthony Higgins went up to a 96. I think he's only a what? Yeah, he's a 95. He went up to a 96. But I wasn't getting no Kims for my for my linebackers. The only one I got it for was the Marcus Ware. So some of these other ones went up like one more overall small. But now that I put these new abilities in, oh yeah, like a Devin White's a 97. Anthony Higgins is 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 a, is a 96. The Mark Sawyer was already a 99. Taylor Mays went up to a 98. Mind you, his card is only a 96. He went up two overalls. Cam Chancer was a 99 with Blue Kings before I powered him up all the way to a 99 gold. Stefan Diggs a 99. Jack Youngblood went up to a 97. Jay Ratliff went up to a 95. Look at Javon Hargrave. He went up to a 98 overall. He was only a 97, so he went up to a 98 overall. And even though you see Mal Rare, I don't know why on this 50 out of 50 Cowboy team, he didn't go up to a 99, but this is what I want to show you guys right now. Maybe I did something wrong because we have 50 out of 50 Kims. It don't make no sense. But let me change my active lineup and show you something. Let's go to Cowboys, which were 96. Mal Re uh, Renfro is a 99 overall. 
I don't know what, maybe I'm missing something. I'm going to go figure it out later on and why I'm not able to get that on my 50 out of 50 team. It doesn't make no sense because he has all the Cowboy Cam, but on this squad, he's a 99. Mind you, look at He's only a 96 overall. He went up three overalls because of the strategy cards that I use. 99 overall. All right, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 93 agility, 98 jumping. Look at his man in zone though, 99 man, 99 zone. That's what how boosted him up so far. He he went up plus four man, plus three zone, plus three play rec, plus two jumping. Right, so the plus four and plus threes were big. Look at plus three agility, plus three awareness. So all these little points and all these little. Um, pluses to him that they, they, they helped him out but once again he's only like this on the full cowboy squad he should have been like this on the 50 out of 50 once again maybe i'm doing something incorrect i gotta go and figure it out but on the cowboy squad he's a nine he's a 99 nine overall just to let you guys know that all right so right like i said right now i'm just showing you guys the cards and then what i'm gonna do now i'm already done with that okay so okay another thing the marcus lawrence went up to a 96 overall so this is my actual cowboy squad so you guys can see now Demarcus Lawrence went up to a 96 overall, which he wasn't before. He was only a, uh, what was it? He was only a 94. Marcus, Demarcus Lawrence is only a 94 powered up. He went up two overalls. Okay. Neo, he's like a what? 94 overall. He went. Well, let me see. I want to be accurate. I don't want to sit here and tell lies. So he's only a 93 overall. He's only a 93 overall, fully powered up. He went up three overalls. He's a 96 now. Okay. That's what I kind of figured because he had a low overall. Same thing with Roy Williams. Roy Williams. Roy Williams is only a 92 overall. He went up to a 95 overall with these new Kims that I have on the squad. Mind you that. Anthony Higgins. So Malcolm Smith is only a what? A 94 because I gotta put him as a left outside line left outside linebacker, but I'm gonna fix all that later. So just to let you guys know that. But yeah, all these Malik Collins went up, every everything went up. So now let's go to the strategy cards. I just wanted to show you guys all the cards first so you guys see that I'm not playing, that these cards went up and overall. Now what I'm going to do, here's the strategy cards. All right, we'll, we'll start off with the offensive ones. The real end one, right? This was a big one when it comes to the tight ends and actually the receivers. Oh, and then they got more. Oh, oh, oh. So now, look at it. I didn't have these other ones activated. I don't know. I think they just added these because I maxed it all out. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I did not stop it. So I'm going to show you guys this right now because I had other cards in game, other strategy cards that I already had them fully maxed out. And then when I clicked on them, they had these uh, uh, other slots available now that I actually was able to add Trey in and, and get my team more juice. So that's another thing right there. So I'm glad that you guys are able to see this. Check your strategy cards. If you already have them maxed out, see if they have other tiers available for, for you guys to actually um, unlock because people ain't even knowing about this. I, I just actually ran into it. Once again, I maxed these out and I showed you guys in the video before. Now they look at, now they have these other tiers to unlock. So this is something that you guys uh, need to know about. Check your strategy cards, see if you have other tiers to unlock. We're gonna, look at, right now I'm not gonna unlock it because I already showed you my cards, but after I'm done showing what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna unlock them and see if it makes a difference. That's why I'm showing you guys that right now. All right, so this is what here was for the tight ends and wide receivers. So we have boosted up both of them, just to let you guys know that. So this is what we got. Okay, so we got plus three catching, plus two catching traffic, plus two short route run, okay? That's for the wide receivers. All right. This one right here. I want to see if I have anything special to unlock. Okay, so see, these didn't, these didn't unlock. Nothing. I, they didn't give me no, no, no extra ones to unlock. And this is a rare one. The other one wasn't even a, a rare one. The other one was just an uncommon strategy card. This is a rare one. Look it. If they upgraded this card, it would be insane. If They uh, they might, though. You never know. They might unlock more, more uh, slots. But what, the, the great thing about this... Is it, it gives you where's the things at? See, it's not even showing everything, but it gives you plus one speed as well as the deep route run and plus catching and all that stuff. So, it, this one added to the other card, the uncommon one with all those extra slots unlocked, boosted the wide receivers just to let you guys know that. And I'm gonna show you a difference right now because I'm gonna take out some of these strategy cards and show you a di big difference. I pulled this one recently. I don't know if they think this is a rare. Yeah, this is, I think this is a, a rare card. I don't know why it's not what we call it. So yeah, this is a rare card.
But the difference between this one and the other ones, look at all these slots I, I was able to unlock. They got what? 15 slots to unlock. I, unlo I unlock every single slot. All right. Three hit power, three man. What? Four lead block. Block shed. So there's so many different ones that I can't even. It, 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 let me show you guys block shed. They got all types of different stuff. But there's 15 slots that I unlock. This way here is what you've seen with that boosted my D line, my linebackers, as well as my corner, boosting my whole defense. Because this strategy item is called Heavy Blitz and it boosts your whole defense. See, it says here, boost entire defense. So that's why I was, I was able to get plus three overalls on some of my players. Um, this hybrid one, this is a rare one. All right, so this is another one I wanna let you guys know about because this is the one I was telling you guys about. This is a rare strategy card that I've been having on my squad. Was it called hybrid, right? It boot it gives plus plus one plus one speed to my uh, my defensive backs. The, the the blitz one don't, but these do. Um, when I clicked on it, I already had it maxed out. I think I had it all the way up to like here, and then when I clicked on it, I had like four or five more slots to unlock. So EA added this because I didn't have this before because I would have unlocked them a long time ago. And another thing for you guys to know too. So once again, check check your strategy cards to see if they got more slots for you to unlock because apparently this is what's happening so you get four plus four zone plus three man so that's why my cards are so boosted all right oh let me go up here so i want to show you guys this because it's very important what i this is what i love because you don't lose no training so if i wanted to refund in my training you're going to get all your training back so what this is good for is that you can actually experiment and use other strategy cards if you don't want this no more and try it on other things because you don't lose your training. You get all your training back. So I want to show you guys that, all right? So now what I'm going to do, you guys seen that some of my players are 99. Um, Blake Jarwin was 99. Oh, no. Yeah, Blake Jarwin was 99. I'm just going to take out. I'm going to take out. Let's put. Let's put. Okay. They just put this wrecking ball in, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you guys the big difference. And same thing with the heavy blitz right here. The heavy blitz is what's making my team boost up like crazy. So I have another one. Look at, I have the island right here that gives my team plus one, another plus one speed. And this this card is not even busting. Um, um, okay, I got two of them. And I'm not even utilizing the speed ones no more. I just realized that. Because this hybrid one. And this, um, the blitz, the heavy blitz one is what's boosting up my squad. So let's put the island in. Let's put the island in. That's what happened. See, now I, I realize what I just, I, I just realized the mistake right now on why my 50 out of 50 didn't have Mal Renfro as a 99 overall. So I'm going to show you guys that right now at the end of the video. So now let's go back over here. Let's go to the offense. You see Blake Jarwin is not a 99. Michael Irvin went down to a 97, which he was a 98. Deion Sanders went down to a 98. I mean, a 97, which he was a 98. Let's change active lineup and see our 50 out of 50 now. Oh, I got to change the... There's still going to be a 99. Okay, let, let me let me just stick to my Cowboys one real quick. Yeah, because I got to go switch the, the strategy cards out of there on, on that one. We'll do that next. All right. So you see, Neil went, went, went down to a 95. Roy Williams went down to a 94, so it boosted him. It took him down. Look at, I think Anthony Hedges. Yeah, Anthony Hedges went down. Malcolm Smith don't even get no boost no more. Um, Malik Collins went down. Demarcus Lawrence went down overall. Mal Renfro, he's still a 99. I don't know why he doesn't want to leave. But the other cards, he he, he was he wasn't boosted up. But I think that's what happened on my second account. I mean, on my second for my second team. We'll check that out right now. So these are the items that actually went down because I removed those strategy cards. So let's go ahead and uh put them back in. So I put the island right here. Let's take that back out and then put heavy blitz. Okay. Same thing right here. Wrecking ball. It's I think that's like a common card, right? So reel in. So mind you. This reel in, this reel in card is an uncommon strategy card. This heavy blitz is an uncommon strategy card. It's not even a rare. So those two strategy cards, because I want to let you guys know, is what's helping boost up my squad, a mixture in with the hybrid, or even sometimes the island one I'll use. But the hybrid is what's really helping this defense a lot. And the deep route specialist, I haven't tried no other ones. I'm trying to find other um, 
offensive cams, but once I pull them, we'll try them out. But for now, this is what I have. So now let's switch teams out. Because you've already seen that they boosted up my squad, right? So here, offense. We'll straight again. So now Blake Jarman's up to a 99. Michael Irvin's up. Oh, I'm sorry. Michael Irvin's up to a 98. Um, Deion Sanders is up to a 98. So now you're starting to see it boosts them up. Anthony Hidges is up to a 96. So he went up two overalls. Roy Williams to a 95. Neil up to a 96. Michael Smith went up overalls. Mal Renfro, Renfro is still 99. Malik Collins is a 90, 93. Demarcus Lawrence went back up. So that's one thing I want to show you. So now let's change the active lineup. Let's go to the 50 out of 50. All right. So you see how these players are juiced. Taylor Mays is a, was a 98. Um, Collins Johnson was a 97. All right. So now we're going to... Deion Sanders is a 98. So now we're, we're going to do the same thing. Let's take out the real end. We're going to put this wrecking ball back in just, just, to, just to throw it all off. We're going to take out... Here we go. This heavy blitz. We do got the hybrid one. Uh, oh, we don't have the hybrid one. That's why we have the end of zone one. So I'm going to fix that right now. So I'm going to show you guys something right now. So let's put this one in. All right, so let's back out. Now look it. Look it. Colin Johnson went down to a 98. You've seen that he was a 99 before. Deion Sanders went back down to a 97. So you see right here that those cards made a big difference. Blake Jarwin definitely went down. So Anthony Hitchens went down. Um, Taylor Mays is still up, surprisingly. But I'm going to tell you right now, the reason why Taylor Mays is probably still up because sometimes you have to back out of the lineup and come back in and you realize that their overalls go down. So I just want to let you guys know that sometimes that happens too. Um, that happens too. But you see uh Javon Hargrave, he's he's up to a 90, he's down to a 97. His stock card, he was up to a 98. So these these strategy cards help boost up your squad. Once again, it's the the heavy blitz, which I'm gonna pull in right now, and the real in for the offense is actually helping us out. Now I want to be able to get my referral up to a 99 overall because i seen what i was doing wrong i had the the hybrid card in um on my second team and i didn't have it in on this you see i have in the zone one so we're going to activate all that right now and see if it's going to boot boost uh, Mal, uh renfro up we have in the zone activated which actually opened up other uh slots let's put hybrid up i'm going to put the hybrid card in and then we're going to put the real in card back in all right so these, if you guys want to copy this one right here, and you guys, if you have ever pulled these and keep these, remember, it's going to boost your team up. So Deep Route Specialist mixed with real in is going to boost your receivers tremendously, two to three overalls uh, with your tight ends, right? So it's going to boost them up and give them a tremendous boost. Heavy Blitz, Uncommon, Hybrid Uncommon cards are, are going to boost your team up even more. And the reason why is because they have all these slots available. All these slots available, which actually boosts up your squad. So they're not even rare cards. All right. There's, these are these are just one, um, second season strategy cards that boost up your team tremendously. Okay. So I wanted to give you guys a full breakdown just to let you guys know. But let, now let's go see the, the team. So I want to make sure that I fully let you guys know what I'm doing right. Now Collins is up to a 99. You see that? Blake Jar went back up to a 99. So without those cards and without those two as a combination, our, our team is our team is not that boosted up. Now let's go back to our defense. Look at now Mal Renfro is up to a 99. So that's what I was doing wrong because I had the island card in, which actually gives him a plus one speed boost. And that wasn't even working. I had to put the the hybrid card in. So that's that's why my Renfro is now to a 99. I knew something was going on and I had to figure out, but now I figured it out. Everson's Walls is up to a 98. Byron Jones is up to a 97. Um, Trayvon Diggs is already a 99. Look at uh, Jav Javon is up to a 98 now. Malcolm Smith is up to a 97. So all these cards boosted up. Taylor May still 98. So that anyway, so that's what I want to point out to you guys is those strategy cards, the new updated ones, these season two ones, they have tons of ability slot, tons of uh yeah, uh, tons of slots to unlock now. Some of these are coming with 15 slots to unlock. It's great, man. It's boosting up this team even more. So that's where I found the gold nugget out when it comes to these strategy cards. This is a new updated 
everything you need to know about strategy cards and how I get the most, how to get the most out of these strategy cards for your squad. If you want to use those same strategy cards, you pull them and mix them in. You see now which are the best strategy cards. As I pull more, I'm going to experiment with them and I'm going to update you guys on um, different ways you guys can use them if you guys want to do that. But as I as I continue to do it, I'm going to update um, update you guys on looking Derwin James is up to a 972. So just to let you guys know that I will be experimenting with more, but my team is juiced up just with these strategy cards alone. But anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what you've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need subs to the channel, there will be more great amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.